Hello everybody, Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here, back with day six of our holiday gift extravaganza and the first day of December. That means our Christmas Advent sale is starting today. Our stitch along with the chart by Crochetta Agogo. I don't know if I said that right, but you know what it is. It's so pretty and so many of you are joining in. So I can't wait to see all of your versions of that. Um, I hope I don't shake you too much. Let me start out with a couple of personal things. I broke my tripod yesterday, <laughs> so I'm using my clamp, and the clamp's attached to the table, and of course, anytime I touch the table, it jiggles, so I'm going to try to avoid that. The second thing is, I'm feeling a little woozy today, like lightheaded. Um, I kind of had to hold on to the wall when I was getting a shower this morning, so if I'm not quite as perky and I seem a little more scattered than usual, that's why. I think I'm okay. It's just kind of a strange, strange feeling. A um, little bit of business. First of all, I have been very remiss in thanking those of you who are supporting me through the buy me a coffee thing. Um, there have been several of you who have been very generous to support me with um, to, to help with postage and that that means the world to me. Um, I do want to let you know, though, I got an email from them this morning that they are no longer going to be working with PayPal as a way to get payments back and forth. They said something about it, just it, they, they've tried to continue with them for as long as possible, but it's possible, but it's just getting too expensive. I don't know what that means. So anyways, this morning I took myself or I disconnected PayPal and I connected up something called, oh shoot, I meant to look this up before I got on here because it's new to me and it's not something I'd heard of before. Although I did um, do a lot of research this morning on it before I chose. I had several things that I could choose to use for buy me a coffee payments, both for you to send money to me and for me to save it off into you know my bank account or whatever um this one is called pioneer so like pioneer only pay on the front and it's just a, a different way to exchange money basically um i would say for those that are a little bit leery about starting something new i totally get that unfortunately i have no choice i had to change to something so, like I said, I did do some research this morning, and Payoneer seems to be very well thought of in the kind of retail merchant community, well supported. Um, you can pay via your via a credit card or via your bank account, although I know a lot of us are not comfortable connecting up our bank accounts to this kind of thing. It is supported in 150 countries, so... Um, with as wide of a reach as I have, I, I wanted to get something that, that really did reach out far, and this does. So, um, again, I appreciate all the support so much. I wanted to let you know about that change. I do have other things coming up in the future that I will be doing through Buy Me a Coffee. Um, so stay tuned for that. But um, just wanted to, to fill you in on that little bit. So... Yesterday's question about was about your favorite outdoor space. And I think so far this has been my favorite because I love outdoor spaces. I love sitting, whether it's by a pool. We had a pool, a pool cage on our house in Sarasota, sitting on a little patio on, on our in our apartment in Hawaii, or a deck um, like we have here. Not that we've really been able to enjoy it too much just yet, but I, I love outdoor spaces. I love flowers. I love gardening. I love the fact that I am back in a house where I can have a garden again and have flower beds. And hearing about your spaces, every single one of you have some kind of peaceful area, whether it's your own backyard whether it's a patio on your apartment or whether it's a park across the street, you have what sound like, like amazing, peaceful, beautiful areas. Um, one that 
one that I actually made a note of <laughs> because I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Um, Darth Vader Stitcher shared that she has an old steel wagon wheel in her backyard that was from her grandfather's wagon and he had Clydesdales to pull that wagon. How awesome is that? I, I can honestly say um, the only Clydesdales that I'm familiar with are from the Budweiser commercials, right? That's how limited my scope is. So to actually hear somebody that had Clydesdales that were their workhorse is just kind of, my father loved the Clydesdales. Anytime that the Clydesdales happened to be coming anywhere in the Pittsburgh area, which is where I grew up, we had to go see them. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's so cool. Um, let's see, one of you mentioned that your husband is the green thumb in the family and he has all kinds of gardens, different beds, flower beds and vegetable garden, composting worm farms. Now, I'm certainly aware of how beneficial worms are to your soil, but worm farms, I need to know more about this and a butterfly garden. That is one of the things that is on our list. We are going to have a dedicated place in our yard for butterfly garden. I do not know if monarchs fly through here, but I am a big proponent of um, doing what I can to support their, their environment and as well as other butterflies. Um, and also bees, you know, we're gonna, we'll have a lot of flowers, a lot of things to support all of the the important pollinators in our world that if we didn't have, we would be screwed out. <laughs> I mean, we would be out of luck as far as food went, right? Um, one of you mentioned greasing the pole, like you have bird feeders, and so you grease the pole of the bird feeder so that the squirrels can't get up it. And one of the things you love to watch is the squirrels trying to get up. And somebody else mentioned that you'd have a squirrel feeder as well as the bird feeders. So one of my one of my worries or one of the things I, I think about when I think about what we're going to do in the yard, I do want to have bird feeders, certainly hummingbird feeder. I have a hair right here that's driving me crazy. Um, but number one, I guess I would need to put the bird feeder someplace where I don't mind the seeds falling to the ground and germinating, right? But number two, you know, I don't want the squirrels to eat up all the bird food, but I want the squirrels to have some too. We have a lot of squirrels out here. In fact, just this morning, I come down here into this room to do my yoga in the morning because it's my happy place and I can look out the back window here as the sun's coming up. And there were some squirrels just going crazy on this, um, one of the trees out here in our backyard. So yeah, I want to take care of all the wildlife and what bird, bird baths that have a heater in them. I can learn a lot from you guys. So I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed reading. I didn't get through all the comments today and I do apologize for that, but I loved reading what I had. Um, okay, I think that is all of my gushing <laughs> for today. So, on with the show. Yesterday's winners, oh, and I also wanted to apologize, I totally spaced on commenting on the comments from the previous day to let you know you won. Now, most of you had watched the video and you got in touch with me, but I was just like, oh, just totally spaced. And the reason I spaced... There's that hair again. <laughs> the reason I spaced is because as soon as this video uploaded, I started recording my floss tube video. I haven't uploaded that. I haven't edited that. That is next on my list today after this one gets done. But I was so focused on getting that one recorded that I spaced on the details. So I apologize. Today, cat lovers, number one. This is going to Jennifer Weibel. Jennifer says, my deck is my favorite part of my backyard. My husband and I redecked it this year with truck decking. And trucks is a, is a manufactured, it's not a wood, it's a manufactured decking, so it lasts longer. And that's actually what our deck is made out of too. And the under joists aren't, but the, the decking is. And yeah, we that, that is such a good thing. Oh, let me put these over here and move the numbers over. 
Okay, so that is number one. Number two, the ink circles pattern. This is going to this is going to Lynn Willow. And Lynn Willow is like just the perfect last name for our question of the day yesterday. <laughs> I love it. She says, we have a pond beyond our fenced yard that provides viewing of water creatures and the reflection of the sky. Doesn't that sound lovely? We can also watch the bluebirds come to their home in the house by the garden. They have definite traffic patterns from the high points in your yard. Be sure to add a birdhouse, Jan. Such peacefulness when we watch nature. See, I need to learn from you. Because do bluebirds have special houses? Don't they? Aren't they the ones you see on fence posts? See, I don't know anything that much about birds. Such peacefulness when we watch na nature. So far, we have a blue heron. Love the herons that comes, wild turkeys, turtles sunning themselves on the large rock that sits close to the edge of the pond. Last spring, we had geese resting on the waters. Each season has its own beauty and surprises. Again, just, I just love hearing about all this. Just wonderful. All right, that is two. I'm getting ready for tomorrow's and organizing today's and all that. Okay, number three is going to Kim Jewell. Kim says, we have family get-togethers, picnics, and nighttime fires, and toasting marshmallows. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Spending time with your loved ones. Number four is going to Winnie Rodriguez. Winnie says, the com complex we live in is by the river and has a riverbank where you can launch a kayak, etc. Or you can just sit and watch the water flow by. Whenever I, I have guests come over, I take them to the river. So Winnie, when I come to visit you, we'll bring our kayak. We don't own it yet. We used to own a kayak. We're going to be getting another one here because there's so many water areas around here. We need to have a kayak. Anyways, we'll bring it with us and we'll take you out in our kayak. Sounds fun. Number five, take me out to the ball game. This is going to Allison Norris. Allison says, I can't believe it's already five, day five. Beautiful kitty, she is, thank you, and she knows it. <laughs> my favorite part of my backyard is my garden. I love to grow as many veggies as I can. We are hoping to have a good garden here. Okay, and number six, is going to Nancy Kenny, And Nancy says, when we moved to Southern Arizona, oh, I love this comment, wait till you hear this. When we moved to Southern Arizona, I was afraid I would not have a garden. My husband and son built a former, formal garden with raised redwood garden beds so that I could have my fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, and flowers. We actively grow good things year round in this tidy oasis. In the middle of the back wall hangs a bronze green man plaque given to me by my mother-in-law before she passed. My favorite place is the entrance to my garden. When I am leaving the sand, rocks, and cactus of the desert and entering the colors and textures of my living quilt. Isn't that wonderful? I often get lost in there and lose valuable stitching time puttering around with the bees, birds, and butterflies. What better place to lose time, Nancy? I mean, that, it, ah, it sounds wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you to all of the, you who are sharing. Again, I hope you are enjoying these as much as I, as I am. Now, today's question of the day is courtesy of, um, oops, wait, Back up. See, I'm a little scattered. I have to do the charts first. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, there it is. I'm getting confused. All right. Question of the day comes after I show you the charts for tomorrow, right? I have it all written here. Just confused today. All right, so... The charts for today, number one is Cross Stitch Nation. Number two is Blackbird Fractor. Number two, Blackbird Fractor. That's such a great one. 
number three, Chessie and Me Halloween Stack. Number, I'm missing a number. Hold on. One, two, three. See, I'm trying to do it all at one time. Oh, I put you over there. That's the problem. Okay, number four. I actually have seven charts today. Number four is um, Come With Thankful Hearts, Lizzie Kate. Number five is another Lizzie Kate. Hats off to Halloween. Number six, we're going back a little ways with this one, I think, is With This Ring by Cross My Heart, Emmy Bishop. I don't know whether you can see. Oh, no, these are by Melinda. I always think of Cross My Heart as being Emmy Bishop, but it's not. So there's quite a few charts in here. And I had to chuckle when I saw the Lee Ward's price tag. Who else remembers Lee Ward's? That was our, my mother and I's, and my grandmother's go-to craft store when I was a kid. Um, growing up in Western Pennsylvania, there was a Lee Ward's in Monroeville, so it wasn't close to where we lived. It was about a 45 minute drive. But anytime we went into Monroeville, we tried to go to Lee Ward's while it was still there. I don't think there's any Lee Ward's around anymore. So just mentioning the names of the area in case there's anybody here that um, is familiar with that area. And last, I'm number seven. I don't have a numbered little seven tag yet. I have to put that on here. Heart and hand, this is called Love Letters. So, seven today. Come and get them. Question of the day, now. All right, like I said, this is courtesy of Jenny Stricken. I'm trying to get my German accent going here. Stricken im zu. So she's in Germany. Stricken, I believe, is knitting. Um, but anyways, in her comment yesterday, um, she said she's loving learning about everybody and reading all the comments. And she thought a good question might be, what is your morning routine at this time of year? I'm adding on to that. What is your morning routine at this time of year? And does it differ from the rest of the year? How does it change? as we move into winter and certainly as we get into the Christmas season, the holiday season, are there things that you have to get done now that you wouldn't normally have to do? So building off of Jenny's question though, as I said, I think a lot of you are enjoying reading the other comments and learning about each other. If you, as you're reading, if you've thought of any questions, anything that you'd like to know, anything that you thought, oh, you know, it'd be interesting to hear this, please let me know. One of the harder things about doing this every day, after having to get fixed up and presentable every day, that's the hardest thing about this, having to like make myself presentable to do a video every day. <laughs> the next thing is trying to think of a question. So I would absolutely adore to have help from you guys. So if there's anything that you've thought of that you thought, boy, I'd like to know this, or I wonder how this is done, or you know, just anything that might've come to your mind as you're reading through, I would love to hear it. I need all the help I can get people. <laughs> so that is all for today. As I said, I am getting my videos multiple. This one is, is all kinds of different things kind of shoved together. <laughs> I hope that doesn't sound too awful. Um, I will be getting that edited and up later today whenever it, you know, finally uploads. So be looking for that. Um, and yeah, I think that's about all for today. So I hope you have a lovely one for those of you whose day is just about done as Jenny's in Germany is. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening and We'll be back here tomorrow. So day, we're at, almost at a week tomorrow. Exciting times. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. You guys take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.